and welcome to the EASA Annual Safety Conference. It's wonderful to see a room full of real people, real live people. It's still a novelty at this stage, I think. Welcome everybody to Prague. We're doing this conference together with the Czech Presidency of the EU. Our theme today is airports, their safety, and their environmental stability. We start today with opening speeches, followed by two panels with a coffee break in between them. Then this evening, there'll be a get-together, which is sponsored by the Czech Presidency, with drinks and a buffet dinner. That will be taking place. Um, we'll be having buses that are leaving from here at around 6.15, and between 6.15 and 6.30, just for your planning, you'll be able to come back with buses also to this location between around 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. That session will be opened by the Czech Transport Minister, Martin Kupka, so we're honored to have his presence for that event. There will be more details on exactly where the buses will be and things like that later. A few technical matters just before we start. The sessions are being recorded, so any questions that you ask later on or anything will actually be part of the recorded session. There's a special Wi-Fi for the conference, and the details you can see are over there. It's uh, the Wi-Fi network is Annual Safety Conference 2022. The password is ASC 2022 exclamation mark. Then we'll also be using Slido, which is a question system later during the panel sessions. To use that, you go to slido.com and you can find um, then ASC 2022 as the session that we're working on and the password is the same, ASC 2022. You need to be careful because we will have separate sessions for each of the panels, but I'll come back to that later. Um, it's now time already to move straight to our first speaker who will welcome us today. That's the DG for Civil, Civil Aviation here in Czechia of the Ministry of Transport, Zedek Jelinek. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Welcome to Prague. Ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, distinguished guests, as I can even see, dear friends, uh, you should know that I do not like opening and welcome speeches. But the truth is that it is a real honor for me to address you today in my capacity of Director Gen General of Civil Aviation in the Czech Republic and to welcome you to Prague. If I was a little bit younger, probably I would be able to mention and stress a few things and important feelings with you from the spot. But now I prepared a little bit some short notes uh, not to forget what I would like to mention. So where to start? Your one day and a half conference has a very nice and balanced program, I must say. And I am sure that you will be satisfied with all the discussion and information received. When I'm thinking about aviation, I always try to look at it from the wider perspective and to treat aviation as a whole and complex entity where each part plays its irreplaceable and indispensable role and cannot be easily avoided. It doesn't matter if it is aircraft or airport operator, air navigation services provider, ground handling companies, maintenance and training organizations. Simply the whole supplier's chain with all people with unique love and passion for aviation. On the other hand, and I come to air airports, it is at the airports where it all starts and ends. It also means that the most critical parts of each flight, such as takeoff and landing, take place at the airports and or in their nearest vicinity. And again, it is at the airports and airfields where passengers or young and future aviation professionals enjoy their first introduction and fall in love with aviation. To sum up, it means that airports 
have to ensure not only absolute safety in all operations, but also to offer a nice and interesting environment where people enjoy spending their time. Two very broad aspects, influencing and very often going against each other. Aviation has gone through very turbulent times during past two years, but fortunately, the passion and need of people to move helps in its fast recovery, so fast that after years of cutting costs, the aviation suffers from lack of employees. It is said true that aviation is not a fancy kind of employer or even fancy kind or mode of transport anymore. And it seems that aviation is not that kind of industry from the perspective of decision makers which deserves help. Airports will also have to face some new trends as well as threats in the coming years. Just a short example. There is a need to implement the entry exit system probably by May next year. It would, for some, prolong the time spent at the airport and create severe procedural bottlenecks. Anyway, we will see whether DG Home will come with a little help to our industry, for example, to agree together with industry on introduction of some mobile application allowing pre-arriving or pre-departure check. There will be also more and more new entrants to our traditional system. I'm talking about unmanned aircraft system, which definitely bring even more complexity closer to airports in low altitudes. And it will be again a very critical element for safety. You probably already know that the European Commission launched its new drone strategy just yesterday. And we can bet for drone future. There will be also more traditional aircraft within the system. And it seems that the biggest ones will not be built anymore, at least in the nearest future and upcoming years. Airports will have also to build and promote new facilities for introducing sustainable aviation fuels and its final supply chain in coming years. Alternative fuels infrastructure regulation sets mandatory national targets and is quickly approaching the final phase of negotiation. But we also know that it is very unlikely that there will be new airport infrastructure added to the system in Europe. And we can be very frank and open. It is not only or exclusively due to high population density land grabbing in Europe and all this green lobby, but also due to shift in priorities, mainly in favor of railways. So how to ensure more capacity and more resilience for airports? Simple question, but a very difficult one to answer. And it is you who shall discuss it during the upcoming hours and days during your conference. Definitely. Airports create a complex ecosystem and there is a need to implement collaborative decision making among all stakeholders to ensure efficient operations within the possible limits and capacity. Capacity enhancement lays also in better organization and utilization. And probably better and wider digitalization It's mainly needed in processes, but digitalization will always be only a tool and airports serve people, mainly passengers. And human beings and passengers are very sensitive to the manner they are treated. So very skilled and trained staff will stay in the medium term the most important building blocks to ensure safety operation and satisfaction for all users. And again, it is not an easy task to keep and hire staff needed. 
airport business is mostly seasonal one and faces many social tensions <laughs> and related issues. I assume that in coming hours you will touch many of the above mentioned issues and topics of your interest and I wish to all of you a very open discussion and good results of the conference. Finally, I would like to thank EASA and Patrick that it has chosen Prague for its 2022 annual safety conference and I do sincerely hope that you will enjoy it. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Mr. Jelinek.